In the modern society, the use of electricity is very paramount and essential for good standard of living. Almost everything is operated by electricity, either at home or in business. There are many cases where electrical mishap can take place, and if they are not addressed quickly, they can cause damage or even become fatal. Therefore, multiple protection devices such as circuit breakers are used to prevent these ugly situations. In this video, you will learn more about the operation of the circuit breaker, its importance and the various types available. Welcome to James Sword Research Channel. Watch the video till the end for better understanding, and if you find this video useful, like and share the video, also subscribe to the channel, and turn on notification for more content. What is a circuit breaker? A circuit breaker is a mechanical switching device that can be operated automatically or manually to protect and control an electrical circuit or power system from damage caused by overcurrent or short circuit. Its basic function is to interrupt current flow after protective relay detects a fault. Working principle of the circuit breaker. Circuit breaker are basically made up of pairs of electrode contacts where one is static and the other is movable, in addition to an operating coil. When the two electrode contacts come in contact with each other, this allows the flow of electric current. These moving contact is held together to the static contact by a mechanical pressure exerted by a spring or compressed air. When an overload occurs in the electric circuit, or there is a faulty current flowing through any part of the system, the operating coil of the breaker gets energized, thereby moving away from each other. Thus, opening the circuit which interrupt the flow of current and protect the system from further damage. However, when electrical current passes through an air gap from an energized component to a neutral component, a plasma discharge known as arc occurs. The arc is generated between the contacts due to high voltage between them. This arc stays for a few microseconds. It holds the ability to damage the circuit breaker device due to the excessive heat generated because of the high current. Therefore, the mechanism of circuit breaker also seeks to prevent or control as much as possible the generation of these electric arcs. Methods used for arc extinction. Different kinds of circuit breaker uses various insulating mediums such as air, vacuum, insulating oil and insulating gas to extinguish the arc. There are two methods of extinguishing the arc in the circuit breaker. 1. High resistance method. 2. Low resistance or current zero method. High resistance method. Arc resistance is made to increase with time, so the current is reduced to a value not sufficient to maintain the arc. As a result, the arc is extinguished. The resistance of the arc may be increased by the following ways. Cooling of arc. Cooling the arc will recombine the ionized particle into its natural state and increase the dielectric strength of the air molecules. As the resistance of the medium increases, the voltage required to maintain the arc also increases and the currents start to drop, resulting in quenching of the arc. Splitting the arc. The resistance of the arc can be increased by splitting the arc into a number of smaller arcs in series. The arc is split by introducing multiple conducting plates in between the contacts. Increasing the length of the arc. The length of the arc is directly proportional to its voltage. The length of the arc can be increased by increasing the gap between the contacts. Reducing cross-section of the arc. Reduction of the cross-section of the arc will increase the voltage necessary to maintain the arc, thereby extinguish it. This is done by letting the arc pass through a narrow opening or by having smaller area of contact. Deflecting the arc. A magnetic field is created to deflect the arc. It blows out the arc into a section of the circuit breaker called air chute, where it is cooled off and extinguishes. Low resistance or current zero method. This method is employed for arc extinction in alternating current circuit only. In this method, arc resistance is kept low until current zero, where the arc extinguishes naturally and is prevented from restriking. The real problem in alternating current arc interruption is to rapidly deionize the medium between contacts as soon as the current becomes zero, so that the restriking voltage cannot break down the space between the contacts. This can be achieved by blast effect, where the arc is quenched using a blast of unionized particles e.g. gas, air, oil. The ionized particles are replaced with non-ionized particles that have higher dielectric strength. It increases the resistance 
thus reducing the current, which leads to the extinction of the arc. Types of circuit breakers. Circuit breakers are mainly classified into two types. 1. Alternating current circuit breakers. 2. Direct current circuit breakers. Alternating current circuit breakers. Alternating current circuit breakers are more common than direct current circuit breakers. The voltage and current in an alternating current fluctuates along the zero value. That is, they will not have a steady rate of voltage to them. When excessive current is detected, the circuit breaker disconnect itself from the main power source. Alternating current circuit breakers carries the importance of being easy to extinguish the arc at a crossing point. The strength of the arc is directly proportional to the level of the voltage. It is easier to extinguish low voltage arc, while high voltage arc is difficult to extinguish. Therefore, the alternating current circuit breakers are classified into two based on their voltage level. They are High voltage alternating current circuit breaker Low voltage alternating current circuit breaker High voltage alternating current circuit breaker These types of circuit breakers are used with a voltage rating of more than 600 volts. Such high voltage has a tendency to generate an arc that is not easily extinguishable. These types of circuit breakers are powered by solenoids with current sensing protective relays driven through current transformers. The following are different types of high voltage alternating current circuit breakers. Oil circuit breaker, air circuit breaker, sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker, vacuum circuit breaker. Oil circuit breakers. This type of circuit breaker uses oil as an insulating medium to quench the arc. The oil has better insulating properties than air. The moving contact and fixed contact are immersed inside the insulating oil to extinguish the arc once the contacts separate. When the separation of current takes place inside the oil, the arc in the circuit breaker is initialized at the moment of separation of contacts, and because of this, arc in the oil is vaporized and decomposed into hydrogen gas. The hydrogen gas bubbles are rapidly generated around the arc. This highly compressed gas bubbles around the arc prevents restriking of the arc after the current reaches zero crossing. The oil circuit breakers are classified into two types based on the amount of oil used, they are bulk oil circuit breaker and minimum oil circuit breaker. Advantages of oil circuit breaker. Oil has high dielectric strength. The oil insulates the live contacts from the earth parts. Good cooling properties because of the decomposition. Disadvantages of oil circuit breakers. It takes a long arcing time. The oil is inflammable, therefore there is a possibility of explosion and fire. The oil quenching losses its dielectric strength due to carbonization. Air circuit breakers. Air circuit breaker is an electric circuit breaker that uses air as its arc quenching medium. The air circuit breaker have a compressed air storage inside. This air is released through a nozzle and produces a high speed jet of air. This air is what is used to extinguish the arc. It is a preferable choice to oil circuit breaker for overcurrent protection up to 15 kV. This is because oil circuit breaker may catch fire when used at 15 kV. The two types of air circuit breaker are plain air circuit breaker, air blast circuit breaker. Advantages of air circuit breaker, high speed response time. It is suitable for frequent operations as arcing time and arc energy are small. Reduction in fire risk. Disadvantages of air circuit breaker. The air compressor needs to be maintained all the time. The air release produces a noise. The air has relatively lower arc extinguishing properties. Sulfur hexafluoride circuit breakers, SF6 circuit breaker. The SF6 circuit breaker is a type of circuit breaker that uses pressurized sulfur hexafluoride gas to extinguish the arc. The gas is a strong dielectric gas with an excellent insulating property and a much more effective cooling medium than air. The sulfur hexafluoride gas has high affinity of absorbing free electron. As the circuit contacts are opened, the gas flows through the chamber striking the arc, absorb the free electrons from it, and convert them into negative ions that are heavier than electrons. The weight reduces the mobility of the charges. This enhances the dielectric strength of the medium where the arc is quenched. Advantages of sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker. The arcing time is very short, have high and excellent dielectric strength. 
low maintenance and suitable for harsh conditions. Disadvantages of Sulfur Hexafluoride Circuit Breaker They are expensive due to the high cost of sulfur hexafluoride gas. The byproduct formed during arcing are toxic to the environment. The gas needs to be reconditioned after every use. Vacuum Circuit Breaker In Vacuum Circuit Breaker, the vacuum is the arc extinguishing medium. The vacuum has very high dielectric strength and arc quenching properties, far more superior than any other medium. When a faulty current is detected in any parts of the system, then the trip coil of the circuit breaker get energized and the contacts are separated. The arc interruption occurs inside the vacuum blister. This blister is fully insulated and allows a high rate of vacuum inside. Thanks to the vacuum and dielectric strength in the structure, the electron, metallic vapor, and ion produced during the arc condenses quickly on the surface of the contacts and the arc is quickly extinguished. Advantages of Vacuum Circuit Breaker They are reliable, compact and have long-lasting service life. Reduce the risk of fire hazards. Has high dielectric strength and does not produce gas after operations. Disadvantages of Vacuum Circuit Breaker Unable to work on its own at voltage above 38 kV, to generate the vacuum requires high technology. Loss of vacuum render the circuit breaker useless. 2. Low Voltage Alternating Current Circuit Breaker A low voltage alternating current circuit breaker is suitable for circuit rated at 600 volts or lower, though they are perceived as not powerful enough. The low voltage circuit breaker are commonly used for residential and industrial applications. Types of low voltage alternating current circuit breakers are miniature circuit breaker, molded case circuit breaker, residual current circuit breaker etc. Miniature circuit breaker. A miniature circuit breaker automatically switched off electrical circuit from overloading or short circuit. This type of circuit breaker serves as a substitute for fuse. Whenever continuous overcurrent flows through miniature circuit breaker, the bimetallic strip heats up and start expanding due to which it deflects by bending. This deflection triggers the latch to separate the contacts. But during short circuit conditions, the magnetic tripping mechanism consists of a coil or solenoid that produces an electromechanical displacement of plunger associated with the coil. The solenoid produces a strong magnetic field to pull the lever and separate the contacts. Advantages of miniature circuit breaker, more sensitive to current than a fuse. It can provide a better interface with the help of a knob as compared to a fuse. Less maintenance and replacement. Disadvantages of miniature circuit breakers. More expensive as compared to fuse. Installment and repair are expensive as compared to fuse. Molded case circuit breaker. Molded case circuit breakers are used primarily in low voltage circuit. In this breaker, all the parts that carry the current, mechanism, and switching devices are embedded inside a molded box made of insulating material. This circuit breaker works on thermal magnetic tripping mechanism, where the thermal mechanism is used for overloading and magnetic is used for short circuit conditions. The trip unit is responsible for breaking the contacts upon detecting any fault conditions. Advantages of molded case circuit breaker. The trip characteristics are adjustable in any current rating. It is compact and occupies less space prevents the electrical devices from faulty situations. Disadvantages of molded case circuit breaker. High cost compared to miniature type circuit breaker. Requires regular maintenance. It is very sensitive to corrosion and dust. Residual current circuit breaker. A residual current circuit breaker is an important safety device when it comes to protection of electrical circuits. It is a current sensing device used to detect and trip against electrical leakage current. They must be used in series with a miniature circuit breaker or fuse. Residual current circuit breaker works on the principle of Kirchhoff's law, which states that the incoming current must be equal to the outgoing current in a circuit. In an ideal current, the current flowing through the live wire ought to be equal to the current returning through the neutral wire. In case of a fault, the current balance of live wire and neutral will not match. The difference between the two current is called residual current on spotting a residual current, the circuit breaker is triggered to trip off the circuit. Advantages of residual circuit breaker. Provides protection against earth fault as well as any leakage current. Offers protection against voltage fluctuations. Automatically disconnects the circuit 
when the rated sensitivity is exceeded. Disadvantages of residual circuit breaker does not protect from current overload. There might be some unwanted tripping of the circuit breaker does not protect against line neutral shocks. The second classifications of electrical circuit breaker is into direct current circuit breaker. Direct current circuit breaker protects electrical equipment operating with direct current. It is continuously stable having some positive value. Unlike alternating current circuit breaker that has multiple zero currents that is used to quench the arc much easily, direct current circuit breaker doesn't have such a neutral zero currents but has additional arc extinguishing medium. Direct current circuit breaker uses a magnet that pulls the arc to lengthen it and makes it easier to quench. Example of direct current circuit breaker is the high voltage direct current circuit breaker. In order to break the circuit under faulty conditions and quench the arc in high voltage direct current circuit breaker, the following steps is ensured. 1. Creation of artificial zero crossing. 2. Dissipation of the stored energy inside the load current circuit. 3. Withstand the voltage between the contacts. 4. Prevention of arc restriking. High voltage direct current circuit breaker uses a load circuit in parallel to introduce artificial zero current in the circuit. When the high voltage direct current circuit breaker opens, the switch closes in the load current circuit. Due to the charged capacitor, the discharge current starts flowing opposite to the load current carried by the circuit breaker. At this point, the contacts are separated and the arc is quenched at the zero current. Advantages of high voltage direct current circuit breaker provides both high efficiency and fast switching, allow the system to be much smaller than other traditional equipment. Disadvantages of high voltage direct current circuit breaker. It requires conversion, switching, control mechanism to operate and maintained.